question for you Ooh, sorry I have a question for you how many of your friends have their own lathe yeah it's serious dude <laughs> these are the kind of people I hang out with yo. this is my dude's basement <laughs> he's got his own lathe Works. He's cutting a project next week. An oscilloscope. <laughs> Seriously. Come on and ride. That looks pretty flat. Fly, man. That looks pretty fly. My tunica. Come on and ride. perfect like perfectly matched for what I do in life is that I really love traveling and I really love art music and art you know creativity but like my next passion <laughs> right up there with those two is eating so like that really goes well with the traveling and while I'm on the road I'm always asking people like where do I gotta eat before I die I'm on my way to this city. What what along the way or there do I gotta eat? For the, since Memphis, for the last two two states, I heard about this place. It's called Lambert's Cafe. I'm in. I don't even remember what state I'm in. I'm in Missouri. Apparently they throw rolls. I'm about to go check it out. Like Missouri. Missouri, for real. I'm like a couple hours south of St. Louis, I think. But don't quote me, though. I ain't saying say shit. Alright, this place is awesome. See that empty rack? You just throw rolls. Oh, you saw one? You just throw rolls all over the place. This guy. This guy right there. Him. He just throws rolls. You put your hand in the air, okay. and he'll throw you a roll. Now I can't. I'm not having another. I've had a lot. This doesn't do it justice. I've eaten a lot of food. I took a really big shot of insulin. But this place is awesome. This place is awesome. 
if you're ever in Missouri, you gotta eat here. Like, I don't even like real big, noisy family restaurants. But there was just so much food. It was so good. They kept bringing me more and, like, different stuff. And, and I even have this enormous cinnamon roll for somewhere along the, my travels. That thing's huge, right? Yeah. yeah. Riding with McGee. Riding full. <laughs> Come on and ride. Wilson, Kansas, it's actually huge. It keeps going way over there and stuff like that. But um, 10 years ago, this summer, exactly 10 years ago, in the summertime, maybe it was July or August, I think it was August, I drove cross country with um, my homie Chris Rogers. And we were, I was moving out to Oakland from Pennsylvania after I graduated college or from the East Coast. And um, we camped on this lake, I don't know where, somewhere on the coast, because we were broke, you know, we couldn't afford hotels. So we like camped on this lake, and uh, it was a pretty crazy night, to say the least. But I was just riding down the highway, and I look up, and it's like, Lake Wilson, next exit. I wasn't paying attention to him. Kansas is a long state, I mean, you kind of just put on music and ride, you know, and it was like, uh, I, kinda, I wasn't paying attention to the signs, and I, I First one I saw in probably an hour. Lake Wilson, next exit. It's kind of ironic. Or coincidental, to say the least. But it's pretty cool. Really beautiful, Kansas is. Not a whole lot of action going on unless you're uh, big into camping and small boating, I guess. But, uh, real pretty. You know? Alright, about to keep riding. Denver bound. Come on and ride. Awesome. We stole a Wrangler, and I don't think Grand Theft Auto is uh, even a crime in Colorado, so it's okay. I stole a Wrangler, took the top off, heading to Boulder for a few hours, visit an old friend, coming back later. I love Denver, man. This is a dope town, man. Really dope city. You ride it with McKee, and we ride it dirty, and it's stolen wit. <laughs> Come on and ride. Blackhawk, Colorado. It's like an hour west of Denver. Super old school, like historic mountain town. It's only like a little up this street from another town called, I forget what it's called, Central City or something. But there's a bunch of cool little casinos in these two towns. I'm about to go, I'm looking for a place called the Lady Luck. Playing in a tournament a little bit. I'm supposed to look for a train in front, so I bet I can find it. <laughs> Colorado, y'all riding with McGee. Heading to Oakland, but taking a little break from the road, you know? Come on and ride! No, I, I think we're. I think the snow's over the signs. I think that's what it is. This one's as you know how you have your dog on a leash. <laughs> this is incredible to me. Well, I used to live in Maine and in Japan. Like I'm not like completely yeah. far in the snow, but <laughs> I, I've been living in Florida for years. Oh, I lived in Florida for a while too. Yeah, I've been in Tallahassee for a while, and now I'm heading to. 
Uh, yeah, I love it, man. <laughs> now I'm heading to Oakland, so driving through the snow is kind of weird. Driving through the mountains. Wow, this road's still gonna go higher. We're like two and a half miles in the air. This is crazy to me.